All right, everybody. Chris, Four Directions Bushcraft. Uh, I was going to do a little video on cordage. Um, this is just a cedar tree uh, that I took strips off of. Um, you want to get below this this outer outer bark layer. This is what I make all my tinder bundles out of normally. You want to get below that and into this fleshy white uh, white part. There's three layers, so you got this outer layer, you got a red, you got this red layer, and then you have this white inner layer. So you gotta get strips off of that, and uh, it'll just peel off. And uh, then you gotta process it down. I have some processed down, and uh, we'll be back, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Chris, Four Directions Bushcraft. Um, I'm working on a cedar, cedar cordage, cedar tree, cedar bark cordage. And um, so I processed all this cedar bark down and uh, I've got it into fine strands and I'm going to start a new cord. This I did the other day and I have to soak it in water constantly. Uh, it's winter time and it doesn't have a lot of sap in it or anything. And um, when it dries out, it starts to kind of untwist. I got some good braids right there. But this is my first, first attempt at some cordage and I did pretty good it seemed like it took me forever but um, you know if I had to do a bow drill out of this I don't I don't know if it would I don't know if it would hold so I'm gonna keep practicing and um, anyway you can see how to do this uh, obviously on a lot of YouTube channels but uh, I'm gonna get a couple of pieces ready and uh, show you how I do it. It's pretty, it's pretty much the same way um, as everybody else. Uh, Cody Lundeen does it, did it a lot on Dual Survivor, and um, Mitch from Native Survival does it a lot, and all of them guys. So uh, everybody pretty much does it. Uh, it seems like they had a little more luck than I did, <laughs> but um, still practicing with it and. I will get back to you here in just a second once I I get all this uh, outer bark off of the cedar. I'm gonna s put a little water on it and I'm gonna make it a little thinner. I just pull these fibers apart and then I just make it a little thinner each time and uh, I'll get back to you. So what helps me is we don't have a lot of water on us right now so I just kind of chew on this a little bit just to get it a little moist to where I can work with it. Um, I think I'll have better luck in the summertime when the cedar tree has more, uh, more of its... Uh, sap or pitch or whatever to it it's kind of dormant now of course but uh, so I got one pretty long strand to start with and it works better on bare skin and I'm just I just kind of get it to where I can I can roll it and it rolls like that you can also use your pant leg so I roll it and what I want to do is find the middle, which is right here, and then I just start twisting until it binds up on it on itself, and then it's going to want to naturally twist like that. What I do is that's my start, so I pinch it there. Now I have a top and a bottom, and I take that and the top. I'm going to twist away from me. 
and I'm going to catch the bottom with this finger and twist it up. Then I'm going to move my pinch. Twist away from me, grab the bottom, twist it up. Move my pinch. Away, catch the bottom, twist it up, move my pinch. Constantly moving your pinch. It actually wears out the tips of your fingers a little bit, especially working with this hard material like this. I'm sure some... Um, Stinging nettles or something like that would be a little more easier on you. But I'm just going to repeat that over and over as I move down. When I need to add pieces, I'm going to add pieces to these and just keep going. I'm only going to do a little section of this right now just to show you how I was doing this. And so that's what you come up with. Braided like rope. Just take the top one, twist it away from you, grab the bottom one, and twist it up. And when you get good at it, which I'm still getting the knack, still trying to get the routine down, it gets a little more easy. And just kind of keep going. Until you get that. So anyway, that's how, um, that's one way you can make a natural cordage. Um, and I use, uh, well right now I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with this cedar bark. Uh, it seems to take a lot of work though, you know. And, um, I'm going to try some other things too, some roots, um, you know, here's a, actually, here's a vine right next to me, you know, that would almost, that would almost work really well. So we're going to do a couple other things like that, but um, anyway, that's uh, natural cordage, cedar bark. Thanks for your views, comments, and support. I'll see you on the next one.